In the last video we designed an 80-20 aluminium extrusion sim cockpit using Frame Designer. In this follow-up video I'm going to find an online merchant and we're going to price up the parts uh, and see how much we can save compared to buying a similar aluminium cockpit from a specialist online racing sim vendor. So I'm recording this video before I've gone online to find my supplier. Uh, I have kind of got an idea who I'm going to use. So I'm going to do my research first to find somewhere where it can be delivered to me in the UK plus getting the best bang for the buck for the parts. So depending where you live, you might find a, a better value supplier. Um, just shop around, go to different web shops, put in length for extrusion uh, and do a price comparison against uh, other suppliers and then you'll get a good idea of, of who you want to stick with. Right, that's the end of the intro, uh, let's get rolling. Okay, here we are, I'm set up. Um, I'm at the website where we're going to be buying a profile. This is the cheapest place I could find. I did some comparisons. And profile itself, just the aluminium extrusion parts, I found very similar prices uh, for cut parts at uh, another place in uh, the UK, which I've used before. Um, but there was a quite a di uh, reasonable difference in the T-nuts and the brackets. And you can see the numbers here on my spreadsheet for the parts list. It's quite a lot, we need a lot of T-nuts, we need a lot of brackets. And I did a quick calculation and to, uh, for all this, so all these parts, um, it, was a, it was about 30 pounds cheaper in total buying from this site. So it's a uh, motor disc, moat disc, whatever you wanna call it. So uh, you can see the URL there. Um, I've, used this, I've used this company before as well. Although it says UK, uh, they ship out of Germany, so it's kind of weird. So you, if you are in the UK, uh, your shipping isn't going to be like next day or something like that. It takes a bit longer, but they're, they're very good. And I have, like I said, I've used them. They're, they're a good site. The, the only thing about this website, uh, so this is the homepage. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit, it's quite complicated. There's a lot going on here. It's not really like an Amazon website. It looks a little bit complicated. You go through a lot of, you know, there's a ton of different things you can buy here and it's easy to get confused. Uh, so I've done some links in case I get a bit lost during the way. I've just already gone to the different landing pages and uh, use these so I can just shortcut if I need to. But I'll try and go through this to make it, to make things clear anyway. Um, so I'm going to show, so a pop up. If you haven't watched the build video where we designed this in Frame Designer, have a look at that. Because uh, this is what we're pricing up. So all these parts is what's up here. Uh, it's an exact, exact numbers. So we're going to basically see if we can build this cheaper than we can build build it from, say, Simlab. So this is the Simlab version. And you see this it is quite similar. There's a similar, it's got a better, the wheel deck is, is custom uh, compared to this one. But whatever you do with this, you know, you can do, it's the same, you can do the same sort of thing. You could actually just add uh, your own bit of wood, uh, MDF, and create a, a, a wheel, a wheel base uh, deck. Or you can, you can use these little brackets here and just attach them upside down and you have, you have bolt holes going upwards. So you got, you, you got universal attachment ability exactly the same as here. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no massive advantage. It, it looks nicer. Um, but practically, you can do the same thing. And if we can make a big saving, then maybe this is, you know, it's worth doing. You know, I, I don't know yet. I haven't done any pricing up, although I've done all this research here. Just found all the URLs. I haven't priced it up. So this is going to be a surprise for me. And I kind of wanted it to be a surprise as well. Um, so this is the price we're trying to beat. Uh, that price doesn't include tax. So I have written down the price, including tax and shipping. Uh, and that's 652 euros shipped to the UK, uh, which is 580 pounds. So we need to beat 580 pounds shipped for building our own. The other one, JCL, uh, their one is, uh, the design's a little bit different. They've, they've gone for slightly thinner parts here, but it's probably okay. Uh, but you can see the wheel deck is, is, is the same. Um, and they got this as well. They got this arrangement here, but that's cheap. You can add this to your, you can add this to here really easily and I've already kind of looked at a kind of price. And to add a length of extrusion here, it's in the region of £10 to add another piece. So it, we're talking about so cheap parts, I'm, it doesn't matter that I'm not pricing it in here. 
it is, it is next to nothing on top of what we're doing here. Uh, and what you don't get, as you can see you don't, on this, you don't get the seat brackets. It's basically bare, bare there. And, but you know, it's, it's quite similar. We're looking at, again, we're looking at a kind of similar sort of chassis here. Um, and this is, because this is cheaper, uh, shipped, it's 501 euros, which is 444, 445 pounds, correct me. Um, so we're trying to beat that price. Uh, so that's going to be possibly even, that's going to be harder to run because the, the difference in price to the SimLab one at 580, 445 on JCL, uh, 130 odd pounds. That's a quite a big save, and that does make the JCL one really quite attractive to me. You know, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, yeah, that's, that's a load load better. SimLab seems to be the one everyone talks about, um, and JCL everyone forgets about them. But this looks like a perfectly good rig to me. Uh, but okay, so we. Let's go back here. I'll minimise this. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one thing I did want to mention is if you were thinking about an 8020 uh, compared to, say, an RC or another, you know, turnkey design, this is um, the RC RS1 frame only about the seat because often you buy them and they got the seat, so it's difficult to get price. When we buy an 8021, it's a bare bones. We don't have a seat. So making a comparison can make it a bit difficult. Uh, but look at this. So this is the price, including tax. It's 562 euros. I won't do a conversion on that one. Um, but you can see that's pretty expensive. That seat, um, all we have is the wheel deck. Uh, and attachments for this are pretty expensive. You know, it's not like 10 quid for adding um, a, a bracket so we can have a shift on it. it it's, it's a lot more money. I mean, we can, uh, this, this price that shows you here, you can see accessories. A keyboard mouse tray is 108 pounds or 108 euros. Uh, you can make one and add one to uh, to a, to a, a, an 80-20 rig for 20 quid. You can do it yourself and actually have a you know make something really good. If you watch my sim rig tour, uh, I, you, I I kind of go around all my kit and you can see the mod I made to actually add a a, a keyboard. Uh, so you might find it useful. Uh, it's it's really good. It's it's kind of a handy little uh, thing and you know the, the price. It's incredibly different, you know. You can save so much, so that may not look so bad when you, if you actually have to start adding your uh, accessories here, pricing up, you know, hugely, hugely. And look, it's, it's even got. We can see here, it's a two hundred uh, euro uh, upgrade for the pedal deck to make it stronger and more adjustable. That's two hundred euros. So we'll add that to that, seven hundred sixty-two, and on our, on something like this, you don't need to worry about it being any stronger it's, it's it, it you could stand on it you can jump on it you could probably drive a car on top of it and it'll and it'll, it'll hold the weight uh so yeah an 820 rig is, is is a really good you should look at that if you are shopping around you don't have anything or you're looking to upgrade from using uh something like you know you write you're driving on a desk and you want something uh, more custom adjustable you can kind of get in there yeah it's it's easy to kind of think about these 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 kind of off-the-shelf ones, they do, you know, they look nice, uh, they're well designed, um, but this material is so much better. It's, it's, it's so much stronger and stiffer. And you really want a stiff um, sim cockpit. It makes a massive amount of difference, um, especially if you get some strong pedals and, and the thing starts moving when you're pressing up, pressing onto the pedals. Uh, it is really distracting and, and it, it is disappointing, and annoying. You don't get that on any of this. It's so strong, um, and even sometimes you get these cheaper ones. You get a cheaper off the shelf uh, sim rig and the pedal deck starts wobbling if you if you put anything more than a G29 on there or, or, or a T5, uh, T150 and you go to something better you know like the, the Fnatic CSW um, or the, uh, the higher end Thrustmaster ones when you stick it on there you can feel stuff moving uh, it, you get used to it but it, it, it shouldn't happen it shouldn't be wobbling around your wheel car doesn't wobble around and that's how I kind of see it. If it's wobbling, you know, it's, it shouldn't do that. Uh, and, and you lose force feedback. You lose stuff when, when things are moving around, which is why this type of rig uh, is, is so much better because it, it's completely stiff. It just doesn't move. And, and you appreciate it. You, you only buy this once in your life uh, for sim racing. Uh, and that's kind of an important thing to think about. I, I've upgraded from, uh, from a next level uh, cockpit, which, which is horrible. It's rubbish. I hated it. Uh, I got the next level motion V3 and that's absolutely fine, but their their cockpit was, was trash and I paid over £500 for it. The seat was trash, it was bendy, you know, it was really flexible, the whole thing. 
uh, avoid. You know, that's that's my advice. If you got one, you know, sorry, I'm I'm not trying to say your stuff is horrible, but I owned it, and it was it was I I didn't like it. It was it really wasn't fit for purpose. You know, I, I yeah. So you know, I'll, I'll end on that bit, and we will just get straight into this. I I don't want to kind of. Uh, be uh, mean, mean to uh, next level, I don't think that's fair. That's not the purpose here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get back into here. Uh, and we, so we go, we go, we go up here and we'll find our first bit of profile. So you can see, uh, it, you can see it's all kind of marked out and all these are bits are here and uh, there's some of the same length for number of units. Uh, so we need five of 40-40 profile, 600 millimeters. So, Let's go to our website, so the home page. And we want to go to the profile we want. Let's go to standard. This is the one we want, standard profile eye type. And you can see it, it just kind of jumps around to lots of pages and you go, you don't know, you know, you, you don't know what's going on, which is kind of really annoying about this website. It's not really designed to be that user friendly. Um, but this is the one we want. It's it's it's, uh, it's the eight one, and I'll explain what all that means if I can even get into it. Can I even get into it? This shows you how kind of rubbish this site is to try navigating. Okay, yeah. So I clicked on that. There we go. So we see it's forty forty. The eight is refers to this distance here, the the channel gap entrance here. That's eight millimeters. So that's really important to know, because. The T nuts that go in here have to be slot eight type. As you can see, I've put slot eight here as well. Um, so if you had a, a, a slot ten profile, which is typical on the uh, forty-five, uh, forty-five profile, it would be a ten millimeter gap. And it, two millimeters doesn't seem a lot, but the, if you get the wrong T nuts, it just won't go in. They just, just won't work. So you need to make sure everything matches. Uh, and, and you can see, like, if we, if, and it can, like I say, it can get quite complicated. You can see all this sort of stuff, because even you can, on this profile, you can see thirty type profile, which is thirty thirty centimeters, uh, uh, three, well, thirty millimeters, thirty millimeters there, thirty millimeters along here, and it's using slot eight type T nuts, but then they've got a version which uses slot six type T nuts, which means it's a, a six millimeter uh, gap here opposed to an eight millimeter gap so you get these on the on the on the kind of low the the smaller profiles you may get these different kind of versions um so yeah if you if you do get these things be careful again look look for the slot make sure you get the right ones uh when you buy it here and then you get the matching t-nuts and even the matching brackets to fit fit the slot but this is what the first one wants we want five of these so 40 40 600 mil So we put in 600 mil here, and we want five. So add that to cart. Okay, I'm going to move that. That's that's something I was testing earlier. Where, um, we we'll ignore that for the moment. We don't need to work on that. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so that comes to 52.97. But you can see a lot of that is the shipping um, at this point as well added onto it. So we, you know, if, if you're going to buy something, if you need extra parts, you may think you need extra parts later on. Try and buy it at the same time. So you buy a bit of extra, and this way you don't have to pay like you know the the, you know, the shipping extra because you, you might find you only want a tiny bit of profile and the, and the shipping's more, which is just you know a waste of your money. So uh, we got that. I'm going to then go back to continue shopping, and we'll go back to where we were. That's good. So I'm going to mark this off. Uh, in, let's do it. Mark it off in green. Green. That'll do. So we need more 4040. I've, I've kind of done it in order, so uh, we'll keep on the same page until we need to get to the other type of profile. We need two of these. That's five five twenty. Two. Continue shopping. Okay, so you can see where we're going. It's pretty quick. I'm going to fly through this and not really say a lot here. Two of those. Mm. 
There we go. So now we need to get some 4080. So if we can, does it return back? Okay, great. So just clicking that returns back to where we need. Uh, and this is the other one we want. So it's nice and easy. It's right, right at the top of the page. So do we need, oh, we need a few bits of, well, we need quite a few bits of 4080. That's fine. So that's 600. One. Two of those. Two at three hundred. Two at four hundred. Okay, so this is forty one twenty. Go back 4120. So we know it's slot eight, so it's all good. And we need two at 600. So we can have a quick look at how much we've got to ready on here. So tax and shipping is 237 pounds. So when we look at the comparison is a 580 pound shipped. It's looking good, um, but we still got a, a, a way to go. We still need to buy all these parts, and all the brackets and connectors. So we'll see how much that adds to it. But so far it's looking, it's looking pretty favorable for us here. I'm pretty pleased about that, that's good. Um, and next bit we'll need to collect connector plates. So I'll show you what those are again um, on here. So that's what we, it's, it's this, we need these to join the uprights to the base. Uh, in, in Frame Designer, they really had limited um, a, 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 a options of these. So this was the kind of the most, this, the best they had to, that I could just paste on here is, but we're gonna find something better on, the, on this website. Let's find that. We'll go back to the home page and we'll look for somewhere up here, uh, accessories. And we're looking for some sort of connecting parts. I'll be here somewhere, connectors, there we go, it's right up there, just missed it, okay. You can see oh, him having trouble trying to find these bits. Where are they? Where are the connectors? I found it earlier, there's no problem. <laughs> connectors, that looks bright. Connectors, it won't be connectors for electricians. Certainly not. Uh, okay, after much searching around, I found it and it was, it was just down here. It was under accessories. Um, and when I had the video paused, I realized I hadn't added um, the bolts. So this has changed and I found some that there were uh, the connector plates weren't the quite ones I picked originally, so I found the ones we need because we need two different types. So we're going to look at the connector plates. And if we look on our design, you can see there are there is a reason why we need two different types. Is we've got a uh, 4080 there and we've got 4120 there. So um, ideally, you want a plate to cover all the channels so we get a better um, binding around here. You know, so it just so it's just stronger. Uh, and you only, you only got two channels there, so we've got two different plates you want to try and find. And thankfully, I think they're the same ones that they've used on, on my actual SimLab rig because I, I looked them on, the, on the, this website on, uh, and they look identical. So I think they probably just bought from here, you know, or the same supplier, which makes it nice and easy. So we're going to get a, uh, an exact uh, version. So let's go to here. And it brings up a, a big old page with just loads of stuff. So we have to kind of smash through it. But it was on page three, I think. Page three. Okay, here we go. So that's correct. So these are the ones we want. 
it's one of there's two of these and two of these so let's just pop that into a tab and I'll just add it so we need two of these as you can see it's the, it's the correct one it's uh it's 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 slot eight and everything else so we know it's matching there so add two add to cart Uh, to shopping let's go back come on it's gonna go not then go back okay it's fine let's see if i can add it here and hopefully it's kept the other ones in the uh, basket so we've already added those so we need two of these two add so okay it's great so it's kept those two uh, and so far, okay, here we go. So up to down to here, mark those off. And it's 265. So we're still, we're still good. We're still looking good. Those are cheap. So we see how much all this adds up. You know, we need a lot of these unit, units. Um, quite a lot of stuff there. So we go straight to the bracket. So we need to find the brackets which will be, uh, I'm assuming it'll be under accessories. So I hope it's, uh, hope it's there. Oh, great. So yeah, that's great. So here are the ones. You can see that's the type we need. Can have a look here. You can see, uh, looks the same. So perfect. So slot eight is what we need. Uh, bracket only. Let's go for the, 32. See how much that cost. So that's 25 pounds, 32 of those brackets. Mark that off our shopping list. Tea nuts. So let's go to accessories again. We should be able to find them here. Well, I believe they've put them in somewhere. Have they got the same place? In the slot. Okay, so this is where we want to go. Uh, okay, so um, when you do buy these, you can see these kind of these or these. Well, there'll be, uh, there'll be ones with, uh, you can't see behind there, but don't. Don't buy the cheapest ones. Don't buy these. They're really fiddly to use, um, and they, you know, to, when you're dealing with 120 of them, uh, they slip in, and when you start screwing the bolt down, they'll start sliding around, and you know, they, they kind of pull out from the channel because um, they're, they're, they're designed to be cheap. They're right for kind of a, uh, if you're doing something simple, but when you're trying to build this and you're in, you know, you're you're bending around in awkward positions, just trying to get all this stuff um, connected. You know, if you if you stuck that in a vertical channel, it will just slip down. If you buy the more expensive ones like these, so you can't see on the, the reverse of this, uh, but you can see it's bigger anyway. Uh, but, on, but on the reverse of that, there's a spring-loaded ball bearing. So it catches, when you press it into the channel, it just catches. So wherever you kind of push it up and down, it just stays where it is. Um, and that's really helpful, you know, so you get for the slightly cheaper ones. I mean, you're not, the saving is, is really um, insignificant. Um, so we'll see what happens when we click on this. Hopefully it goes to the, there we go, so that's perfect. Uh, so that's the wrong ones, that's M4, so that's good to know. I mean, we want M, we want M8, because we're gonna be using M8 nuts. You can see M8, M8 bolt, sorry. Um, so make sure you uh, you select the right ones, because if you just buy a boat load of these, you just, you know, you'd just be out of luck. You'd just be knackered. You don't want, an M4 bolt's are tiny. You'd, you'd want something more substantial. Um, so where were we? Where did it mess me up to? Okay, so let's see if it's giving me some options to pick something better. So M8 slot eight. So that should be good, I think. Twenty p each. Yep, slot eight M8. That's the ones we want, and we need. 120. 
So you can buy a bag of 100. There's no difference. Uh, if you buy like one, I think it seems to be quite, quite expensive. But when you get to a certain number, you know, above 10 or so, it, it seems to be, it, it doesn't really. Uh... Actually, interestingly, I think uh, those are, let's see, for one piece. So 19, as you can see, yeah, one piece, it's 40, it's well, 56p. On that, you can see it's, it's basically half price. Um, but if we put in the number we want, which is 120, Oh, not 120 bags, 120 pieces. Uh, can see is the price, uh, the price is, okay, let's have a look at that. So, da, da, da. yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't kind of do you on the price, you know, it doesn't do you on the price if you just buy them individually with a certain quantity. So we'll add that. And we're up to 324 shipped. It's looking good, because these are dead cheap. So I know we're gonna, it's gonna be, it's going to be that we're going to be looking good. We're going to be looking very, very good. So we need to find those bolts, and they're kind of hidden away. I found them earlier. They're in this stupid place as well. Uh, mechanical basics. Stuff is all over the place on this website. Um, so you kind of need to know where you're looking. I, I remember the first time when I uh, used this website uh, to just to buy bits and pieces all over the place. I did spend a lot of time uh, navigating, trying to find stuff. It, it was uh, it's a little bit frustrating, but once you once you've you know once you've got the knack. Yeah, you, you, you'll find the stuff you need. So this is what we want. Um, I believe it's just these uh, DIN screws. I think they're the normal ones. Uh, these would work, but I kind of prefer these. The bigger the bigger head is just it's easier to cinch down when you uh, with your Allen key. Uh, they're nice and strong. You don't need those. They're countersunk. So you just want these big old chunky ones. And here's the chart. So uh, these are different sizes. So we want M8. So make sure you wear on that line. And this is the quantity. It kind of has weird numbers. I don't know why it does this. Um, we need 120. We can go five over. So we get 10 units of 25, 125. Uh, we've got five spare to lose somewhere. Let's add that to the cart. Is that even added? Well, that looks a bit strange to me, doesn't it? Mm. It's one pound fifty-eight for twenty-five. Mm. So, do I just do this ten times? Let's just see what happens. I don't want to mess this up, right? We want to make sure it's right. Yeah. Ten socket, one socket. So is it that cheap? It makes out that it's that cheap that if I buy a hundred of these things, it's only hundred one pound fifty eight opposed to uh, just one, and I'm getting twenty five for forty p. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? Uh, if you do buy all this, you might want to email them and ask them if that if that's correct. And if you when you if you do buy lots of these, because that just looks amazingly cheap, right? It doesn't seem right. But I'm gonna go with what it says there, because that's what it says. It's uh, you know 10, 10 units. Unless that's socket ten, is that possible? Hmm, it's a bit curious, right? But to me, that just looks like the the number correct okay so we're going to go over this thinking that we're good okay let's go back here so we got those like i said maybe check with them to see how that works because yeah it's um it seems a bit weird i don't know i'm gonna leave it like that um, but they won't be that expensive. Like I said, we're still going to be under. That's never going to be these. The, the, these bolts are never going to make a diff, big difference to our build cost anyway. Um, so we're going to take it as this is our total price. So this is 100, 126. Uh, excuse me, three hundred twenty-six pounds and sixty-nine p, which is uh, for building this. That's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that price. 
Uh, and it has the up the shipping costs already incorporated. Yep, shipping to UK. So there's there's, there's two to meet my address effectively. Front twenty six. And if we look at that compared to, we go back to what the Sim Sim Lab one is. 580 for this shipped to my door 580 shipped to my door 326 let's do a quick calculation here so 580 minus 326 we won't worry about the 69p 250 pounds 254 pounds to be exact 250 pounds cheaper which is round it down 250 pounds cheaper for exactly the same thing you know yeah, okay so uh this website is a bit of a pain to go around to navigate uh but i found everything um i guess what i could do i will put a download link uh well i'll, I'll, I'll include this i'll I'll just clean this up a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll put this into the uh, download link on the first video where we did the design. So I'll just update that link. If you've already downloaded it, download it again and I'll add this to the zip. So you'll have the, um, you know, the, the, this, this nice list. So you can, if you want to build it to this spec, you can just smash around the, the website and just get all the stuff you need. Save yourself some hassle. Um, but yeah, so that's a huge saving. I mean, you, what can you buy with that? You can buy, you can, you can buy, a, you know, a, a, an okay uh, wheel. You can buy a, a pair, a, a set of pedals, a decent pe set of pedals. I think, you know, Fnatic uh, pedals that'll probably be around that sort of price. Um, so big saving, you know, it is a big saving. It's worth it. It, it wasn't that difficult, you know. Um, you know, maybe I made a meal of it. <laughs> I don't think I did. I think you know it's fairly efficient, um, and I closer can closest competitor is the JCL and if we again go to that so that was a uh, 445 shit so that's a good that's pretty close that's a pretty close match really so we minus 300 and 326 so the saving is 209 pounds so that's 200 pounds that's still decent you know, that's a really decent uh, difference. You know, the saving you make, um, and then you can add, you know, you can add, buy some extra bits and mods, and you know, you could, you could buy your mods. You can add it to this design and just buy your the extra bits you want anyway, um, and you'd, you'd still be under these. You'll still be under this price, um, and 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 obviously really under this price, which is uh, which is staggeringly different. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think I'm done. I hope you liked it. This was an education for me. I hope it was for you too. Um, I, was, I was always kind of curious about how the saving would be. Um, it is, it, you know, logically, it should have been. It is going to be cheaper to source your parts. Um, whether or not the, the process of building and trying to measure up and all that sort of stuff, and then go to a website, and we all did it from one website where we bought it from. It was going to be a massive hassle, but two hundred fifty pounds cheaper. It's kind of worth it to me. Um, you know that buy, that buys a lot of beer. Uh, it buys it buys a bunch of sim gear as well. You know you could buy an HE shifter that like, that's that's that yeah, and still have change. Um, so you know I, I, it's worth it. And yeah, I hope you hope you uh, liked it. You know following this uh, video today. Uh, if you liked it, as always, I keep saying this. If you do a thumbs up, that really helps me. It helps people find the video. I'm trying to grow the channel, you know, as much as I can. I'm, so I'm trying I'm trying to do some useful videos. Production values still dodgy. Um, hopefully, me speaking uh, to uh, you know live when doing this is, is a, was a little bit better than the first one. Um, I hope so. I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to be slightly more focused. There's, there's a few. I, I get it. There's a few stuttering in here. You know, bits here and there. But I think um, it kind of worked out pretty well overall. Um, so yeah. So until next time, uh, I'm trying to. I'll try and post another video next couple of days. I'm trying to be active. Trying to trying to build up. Uh, some backlog of videos um, I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, another sim one but I do still plan to do the 
to do an, another build which is going to be closer to resembling this because the posts on this one on the outside the posts are on on the top here on the base and it's, an, it's a slightly narrower design um, and I'm not sure if I'd add that to it honestly um, in, if I'm trying to replicate it I might do I'll, I'll think about that but I'm going to try and replicate this design which is slightly uh, this height is a bit it's a bit lower uh, it's a bit narrower so it's not about the saving it's it, it really is it's about just kind of building another one and, and then again I'll put a uh, I'll put the down the link in the description when I've on in that video of of this file so you know you could you know, and it will be cheaper again you know you say you can you could do it yourself and and, and save some cash and um, I may kind of do another one of these uh, uh, kind of lists against the other frames which I think might be a good thing actually because you get the whole package and you know you could go you could just go and buy it and then and, and save some money um, you know that's the idea of this is is the DIY builds is, is all about uh, uh, not necessarily saving money but customizing and doing something to your specifications but if you're kind of going down this route anyway which is kind of a DIY custom thing uh, it's hard to kind of not con consider something like this anyway but no I'll leave that view uh, and until next time thanks again for watching see you next time bye bye <laughs>